Hello everyone, Ron Moser here with Thursday Thoughts. Each Thursday we will take the verse of the day that's found in the Bible app and we will consider what it has to say to us, what God's Word is saying to us through that verse. What does God want us to know about Him? What does He want us to, to do? What does He want us to know about ourselves? What does He want us to change? And how can we apply that to our daily living? And so today's verse comes from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, and it says, Make every effort to live at peace, live in peace with everyone, and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So three things here very quickly. First of all, the first thing is that we're to make every effort to live in peace with everyone. That word peace can also have the idea of being one. And if you think about it, when we are at peace with someone, we are at one with them. When we're not at peace, there's something that separates us, something that divides us, something that comes between us. And so when we are at peace, we are one. And so the scripture tells us that we are to make every effort to be at peace, to be one with those around us, with everyone. And you know, in our world today right now, it's, there is lots of division. There's a lot of anger, there's a lot of resentment, there's a lot of grudges held, there's a lot of things that just separate us here in America and in the world. And what Scripture tells us here is that we are the ones who are responsible to be the peacemakers. That we're to make every effort to live in peace, it says, with everyone. That's our responsibility, to make every effort to do what we can, to do everything that we can to be at peace. Now, Romans chapter 12 does tell us this. It says, as far as it depends on you, remain at peace with everyone. Now, sadly, we can do everything in our power to bring about peace between ourselves and someone else. But sometimes, no matter what we do, they don't want to make peace. They want to be resentful. They want to hold a grudge. They want to be upset at us for for whatever reason. They don't want to make peace. But that doesn't take the responsibility off of us. We are still required to do all that we can to be at peace with one another. And so in this world, as we run into people, we need to be doing that. What can I do to be at peace with this person? Do I need to forgive them? Do I need to ask forgiveness? Do I need to rectify a wrong? Do I need to do something? And so what can we do to bring about peace? Now, does that mean we compromise God's word? No. Does it mean that uh, we allow others to just walk completely over us? Not necessarily. I do think sometimes we have to humble ourselves and sometimes allow ourselves to be um, taken advantage of some. But we put that, that's put on them and God then. But we do everything we can to live in peace. And then it tells us to be holy. Now the word holy has the idea of being set apart. Set apart from sin and being set apart to God. In other words, we separate ourselves from the sin and we devote ourselves to the Lord. And so we get rid of all those things. The things that are ungodly, the things that we know are sinful, we put those away as best we can. We, we get rid of them. We toss them out in the trash. We get rid of them. And uh, Paul talks about, you know, we, we consider it all rubbish. All that stuff that we sometimes think is important and good, we get rid of that stuff and we hold on to God. We devote ourselves to Him. We are obedient to Him. We allow Him to change our mind and our hearts so that we might live for him and so that's what holiness really is about it's that idea of devoting ourselves to god it's not being this perfect person but it's about devoting ourselves to god and trying to get rid of all that other stuff separating ourselves from it the best that we can and then we allow christ 
to change us and motivate us and the Holy Spirit to live in us and, and change our heart. Because you see, did you notice that last part? It says, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So does that mean we have to be perfect? No. What it means is we have to be devoted. That we have to love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and all of our strength. That we have to be willing to do what He desires from us. And to be willing to get rid of those things that we want, that we know are wrong, that really lead to death and don't lead to life. It's interesting, this phrase, this passage, this verse, I think has a lot in common with the two greatest commandments. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Or as Jesus put it, to love one another as he has loved us. Think about it. When we love others the way that Christ has loved us, then we are doing all that we can to be at peace with others. And we love God with all of our heart, with all our soul, then we'll be devoted to Him. And we will separate ourselves from this world, from the things in this world that are evil and wrong and hurtful, and instead be devoted to God to follow him. So I hope that we'll think about these things. That if there are people that we've offended, that there are people that we are not one with because of things that we have done, words that we have spoken, that we will do everything we can to get back into peace with that person. And if we are living our lives for ourselves, May we learn to devote ourselves to Him. To love Him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then, and only then, will we see the Lord. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you'll come back and join us again next Thursday. Um, this Sunday morning, uh, if you're around and uh, would like to, we, uh, we'd invite you to our worship service. Uh, at uh, 1045, but um, with all the things that are going on, uh, maybe you would rather um, stay safe at home. And if so, we'll have a live service on uh, at 1045 as well. And so we encourage you to join us. This week we're starting a new series in our sermons, and it'll be our messages. It's entitled Beyond a Whale's Tale, and uh, we'll be looking at the book of Jonah. And so some really interesting stuff in there and uh, a lot that we can learn from. So uh, until we see you again, may God bless you and keep you.